Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Charlotte from At Charlotte's House. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to DIY your own marble storage container. That's right, marble. I was looking to replace our coffee canisters. These are two canisters that live on the counter at all times, so I want them to look sort of stylish. This is exactly the shape that I wanted, nice and clean, nice and cylindrical, but the problem was that it's clear. I can't have a clear container for my coffee grounds because Google told me not to. So I thought I could DIY this into a marble container, and I love marble. Here's how you're gonna do it. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure this distance. I'm noticing looking at it this way that this isn't a perfect cylinder, so I'm actually going to cut my contact paper with a little wiggle room on either side and I'll trim it later. This is six inches tall, so I'm gonna cut my contact paper about eight inches. I love this marble pattern contact paper. I've used it here on my work table. I think it looks really convincing. These are, I don't know, $10, $20 a roll, and the roll will last you a long time, so it's really something that I love. Now, I'm pretty sure that this is about the right length. I'm gonna try to stick it on to my container. And again, it's not a perfect cylinder, so it might be a little tricky to work with, but I'm gonna play around with it. This contact paper is pretty forgiving, so you can stick it on and pull it off without getting in too much trouble. I always start by pulling back just the top two inches or so. So I'm gonna smooth this out from the middle towards the edge. I want to get rid of all those air bubbles. So I have smoothed that out pretty well and I'm just gonna keep slowly working my way around an inch or two at a time. If you get to places where the air bubbles, you just can't get rid of them, another trick you can do is you can take your blade, you can make a tiny incision and then that should create a spot for those air bubbles to get out. And then you are back in business. Because of the shape of this, it doesn't go around perfectly. So I'm glad I did it this way. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my sharp blade and I'm going to carefully trim the excess. So I'm just using the top of the canister as a guide. And like I said, if your blade is sharp enough, it should cut through that contact paper really easily. I'm gonna do the same thing down here. This time I'm gonna try to hold my blade level with the top. And this bottom edge is a little bit rounded, so it's not quite as easy. It is so important to have a sharp blade for this. And I'm making sure that my blade is resting on the bottom of the container the whole time, and that's giving me that straight edge. I'm gonna clean up this seam so that that edge is straight. That is a DIY marble coffee canister. If you like this idea, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great day, everyone. Bye.